Welcome to a little bit of fun with an ABUS. I bought this ABUS about three and a half years ago for my Eurocylinder exploration series. It's a series of videos where I explore the different properties of various German locks, basic locks from a lot of different manufacturers. But this ABUS was special because it came with a with a bidding like this <laughs> and it was very easy to rock open. So the question arose, is it just the bidding or is it the lock which makes it easy to rake or rock open? So as a follow-up from the original ABUS video, which is uh, three and a half years ago <laughs> that I made it, I just recently repinned this lock to bidding like this and tried to rock it open. I managed to rock it open once, but it's much harder. <laughs> However, I'm not really convinced what the quality and the performance of this lock is, uh, and yeah, I'm not quite sure if these Avises are really um, that good in terms of um, tolerances. Uh, they have a lot of different uh, security pins, which which are really cool looking, but um, I don't know. I'm not not really convinced that this is the quality that I would expect from an Abus. So let's clamp it in a vise and play a little bit with it and, and see how it behaves. All right, it's in the vise with this side sticking out. It's the originally uh, pinned version. It's easy to rock open. I will show that to you. Usually I would tension the lock from the open side, but for uh, the camera shot it's uh, more convenient to uh, tension it uh, on the pin side. And I use this sparrow's hook. It's technically not raking. Raking would be something like this, I believe. But this is not so successful. It's more like rocking. So picking up and down with all the peaks <laughs> at the same time. And here it's open. Let's try it again. Just go in with light tension and move the pick up and down and a little bit back and forth and here it's open again. Let's try the other way around. This is a little bit more difficult or time consuming. Oh, no, it is not. <laughs> Let's try one more time. So although the Bidding is not really difficult. I would expect that the tolerances are mm, that good that it's not easy to to uh, open a, an Abus with a simple rocking attack like as you have seen because there are quite some cool security pins inside. But now let's try the other side where the bidding is more erratic. Looks like this. So I don't expect an opening, but we will see some movement. Yeah, work it, the lock is, is working. Setting, resetting, oversetting. That's good actually. I think we've dropped into a false set. Let's try the other way around. Oh, dropped into a false set very quickly. Let's see if we can get it out with a rake. doesn't look like. Maybe because pin 1 is quite short, I do have to use this open side tensioning. That's actually not that bad for the camera view. Let's see if this works better. But it's not that easy to, to rake open. 
no matter what I try. Ah, I dropped into a nice deep fall set. Maybe I use a pick to finish it. I think yeah, pin one is still to set. Now it's set, but something else dropped. I just brush over the pins. And three came back. Got it. Now one came back, so that's actually a nice ping pong between these two spools. Not sure in which state this lock is now. Ah, it's in the open state. So let's give it a try the other way around. Ah, that's a bad view. So use the pin side tensioning method. I use now a different rake maybe. It's a city rake from Sparrows. So I've reset the lock and I just use this hook, this deforest from Sparrows from, from Peterson, just brush over the pins. Ah, dropped into a nice false set. Pin one is binding. Release tension and very lightly brush over the pins. False set is back. Three is binding, got it. Four was coming up and it's open. So don't know what you say, but for me, this is way too easy to how this lock opens. After all, it's an Avis and it's brand new. Three years ago, it was brand new, but it's um, not used at all. After only a little bit of picking was done to this lock, so I would expect better performance. I think the tolerances are not all that great in this lock. Um, I will show you the pins now. I will take it apart. Um, I will get it um, off camera and uh, we can admire the <laughs> uh, beautiful drivers. So here you can see both plugs of this lock. Uh, Repopulated with the key pins and the drivers, we can see that almost all drivers are effective. Maybe one and two here are not as effective as they could be. Um, and maybe number two here on this side is also not that effective. But although these spools do not go in all the way, they have a tapered end, so they show a little bit of uh, special behavior. Yeah, on the right side you can see the bidding as it came originally with this lock and on the left side that's the newly pinned side. Um, let's pull out these drivers so I can show you them uh, more in a close-up view. That's the way the Abus spools look like um, and these are all spools beside of the last pin which is uh, very nicely serrated. Yeah, Here you can see them in a close-up view. We have four of these tapered spools inside this lock number one through four and one serrated like this in number five. These tapered spools are pretty cool to pick. You first have to pick the normal spool part and then you have to pick it again because of this tapered end. Yeah, although we have these very nice security pins inside, these uh, locks are not all that hard to pick. Mm, okay, maybe the keyway is not too pericentric. It's a very wide open Yale keyway. Plenty of room to pick, but it's it is pericentric and 
Uh, I would say if the lock had better tolerances, it would have been much more difficult to pick open. Not that easy, um, not that easy in the way that you have seen it. All right, that was my play on this Abus. Um, <laughs> three years uh, and a half year later, as a follow-up video to my initial. Um, Euro cylinder exploration series video, but better late than never. So, thanks for watching, have fun, and until we meet again, cheers and bye bye.